From prehistoric times through the French and Spanish colonial eras, from the territorial period through statehood, secession, reconstruction, and modernization, women have played major and defining roles in the development and history of Arkansas. Women of every race, ethnicity, religion, social class, and legal status have been instrumental in shaping the culture and social structure of Arkansas, even as they were forced to struggle for equal rights, political and legal equality, economic and societal independence, even for the most basic human rights of freedom. Actress Betty Mae Julie Adams appeared in more than 50 films and numerous television series and shows. She was raised in Little Rock and attended Little Rock College, now the University of Arkansas at Little Rock. Her first movie role was a small, uncredited appearance in the 1949 film Hot and Blue. However, she may be best remembered for her role in the 3D thriller and cult classic Creature from the Black Lagoon. Maya Angelou was an internationally renowned best-selling author, poet, actor, and performer, as well as a pioneering activist for the rights of African Americans and women. Her first published book in 1970, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, was an autobiographical account of her childhood, including the 10 years she lived in Stamps, Arkansas. The popular and critical success of the book was the foundation of her career as an author and public figure, as well as the basis of her identification as an Arkansas author. She held over 50 honorary university degrees, along with many awards recognizing her accomplishments in the arts and her service to human rights. Cabot native Terry Utley Amos Britt was named Miss Arkansas USA in 1982, going on to win the title of 1982's Miss USA and compete in the Miss Universe pageant in which she was a finalist. She remains the only Miss USA to come from Arkansas. With Elizabeth Ward of Russellville holding the title of Miss America, Arkansas became the first state to be the home of both pageant title holders in the same year. After a career in the entertainment industry, Britt went on to become a successful motivational speaker and author. Little Rock native Barbara Ann Higgins Bond, whose professional name is Higgins Bond, is a nationally recognized illustrator and commercial artist whose most important works have concerned history and the struggles of African Americans. A pioneer freelance artist since the early 1970s, she has designed and illustrated cultural heritage stamps published by the U.S. Postal Service and the United Nations. Her art has been exhibited by the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the DuSable Museum of African American History, among other institutions. Ida Josephine Brooks was a teacher and early school administrator in Little Rock. She was among Arkansas's earliest women physicians and the first female faculty member at the University of Arkansas Medical School, now the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences. She was also an active advocate for women's rights in the late 1800s and early 1900s. June Carter Perry is a former educator, diplomat, and U.S. State Department official. Over the course of more than 25 years in the State Department, she worked in different capacities at U.S. embassies throughout the world. Her multifaceted diplomatic career included service as the U.S. ambassador to both Lesotho and Sierra Leone. Carter Perry retired from the State Department in 2010. Faulkner County native Betty Bumpers, wife of former Arkansas Governor and U.S. Senator Dale Bumpers, was known for her far-reaching efforts to promote childhood immunizations and world peace. While serving as First Lady of Arkansas, she discovered that the state had one of the lowest rates of childhood immunization. She addressed the problem by launching a campaign to have every child in the state immunized. She continued her efforts after moving to Washington, D.C., where she and other congressional wives founded Peace Links, 
on the idea that ordinary American women could develop lasting relationships with women in the Soviet Union based upon their shared concern for the well-being of children and families. Cora Elizabeth Pinkley Call was a popular Ozark writer, naturalist, herbalist, folklorist, and Eureka Springs historian and booster. While her first book, Pioneer Tales of Eureka Springs in Carroll County, was published in 1930, her best-known work is probably her 1952 Eureka Springs stair-step town. A lifetime resident of Carroll County, Call achieved statewide and national prominence as a founder and longtime president of the Ozark Writers Artist Guild. Hot Spring native Mamie Catherine Phipps Clark was the first African-American woman to earn a Doctor of Philosophy degree in psychology from Columbia University. The research she conducted with her husband Kenneth concerning the psychological development of African-American children was vitally important to the success of the 1954 case Brown v. Board of Education, Topeka, Kansas, in which the U.S. Supreme Court declared the doctrine of separate but equal with regard to education to be unconstitutional. Little Rock Nine member Minnie Jean Brown, one of the nine students to desegregate Little Rock Central High School in 1957, lived with the Clarks after being expelled from the school. Former University of Arkansas in Fayetteville track and field star Veronica Campbell Brown excelled in the 100-meter, 200-meter, and 4x100-meter relay. A citizen of Jamaica, she is the most decorated Olympic athlete affiliated with the state of Arkansas, having won eight Olympic medals from 2000 to 2016. In 2007, she became the first track and field athlete to win an International Association of Athletics Federation World Championship title, in her case, in the 100 meter, at all competitive levels. Visit the Cal's Encyclopedia of Arkansas at encyclopediaofarkansas.net for additional information on these outstanding Arkansas women and others.